these. It's about money. It's not about the care and well-being of those individuals. We apprehend uh, large groups both in stash houses in implorable uh, conditions as well as riding in tractor trailer trucks, uh, which as we know uh, in San Antonio just uh, uh, a year, year and a half ago, we had that tragedy. So these individuals are, are put at risk day in and day out. And that's just what happens once they are along the border, not to mention the trip up. Uh, there are uh, cases of, of rape, of abuse, of all different types of things that are happening to these, to these illegal aliens that are coming, uh, making that trip to the country. As you know, there is widespread agreement in Congress on both sides of the political aisle. Uh, that families should not be separated, that the best place for children is with their parents, with their moms and dads. Uh, at the same time, uh, I believe it's imperative that we also enforce the law, that we should not be adopting policies that effectively mandate catch and release because that only serves to attract more people here illegally and to ensure that even more children will be subject to the abuse, to the horrific treatment uh, that human traffickers uh, subject them to. Um, I've introduced legislation that would mandate families stay together and at the same time would enforce the law and, and prevent a return to the policies of catch and release. And, and we're engaged in ongoing negotiations with, with Senate Democrats to see if there will be bipartisan agreement uh, behind that legislative effort. I'm, I'm hopeful and optimistic. Uh, Mr. Albans, can, can, can you share uh, your thoughts about the consequences of catch and release and, and what it does to levels of illegal immigration? Well, again, I think going to the Chief's point previously, I think you saw that initial dip um, after uh, the middle part of last year when there was concern that the laws of this country would be rigorously enforced. Unfortunately, what the smugglers and the illegal aliens learned was that the loopholes that exist, which facilitate this process and forces us to release these individuals shortly after apprehension, haven't changed because they need congressional action to do so. And, and, and Mr. That, Abbott, can you, in your in your answer, discuss the uh, implications, the consequences of the Flores consent decree and, and how that constrains your enforcement abilities? Absolutely. The, the biggest issue.